What's up YouTube? Today I just want to give you a quick update on my crypto mining rigs and their hash rates and overclocks that I'm using. And we'll go over a little bit of profitability, what I, what I should expect and, uh, you know, with the current pricing of today. So if we look at it, I have three, three rigs going right now, total 19 graphics cards or GPUs. I have two mining Ethereum and then one mining Ravencoin. And you can see what rigs they are doing each. So we'll start my my P10690 uh, rig. I did in the last video update of it, I switched over to Raven Corner. You see my overclocks, my power limit's at 66. They're all using roughly 65 watts, getting about 5.4 mega hash. This one's at 5.5 mega hash. Temps seem pretty good, all under 60 degrees. Uh, and that's on Ravencoin right now on uh, Kapow. So if we go over to here, we'll just leave Kapow on. It's doing roughly 460. And we're getting 30, we'll say 32 mega hash a second. Uh, not as fast as I'd like it to, but we'll see. So on Kapow, it has dropped in price since I did last uh, do a video on it. So, but I'm still looking at 47 cents per day. It's still the most profitable coin uh, for those three gigabyte cards to mine. So if we put, we'll just put the 0.47 cents a day on there. So that's my Raven coin. Then if we go back, I have my P106 100. So here's my overclocks, core 200, memory 800, uh, power limit 77. This one I did have issues, but you see, Right now, it's been running rock solid for a little while. I did have issues. It kept booting the miner and giving me a load average error. So I did up the power limit slightly. But I also noticed one of my connectors seemed to be a little bit loose. So I think there's a connection issue. But it always seemed to be GPU 3 here that I'd end up losing. But for the past three or four days, it's been running pretty solid since I reset the connectors and the graphics card into the riser. Uh, if I start having issues again, I'll... Um, I'll just change the riser out since I have a few more laying around. Uh, I do plan on buying new ones, like better risers for all my rigs eventually. But for now, they're all running solid, so I don't want to mess with them too much just yet. Uh, but this rig, we're getting roughly 117 mega hash a second. And this one runs at about 450 watts. So if we come in here, they're pretty much 1060, but so it, it does run at about 450 at the wall. Uh, and I said 117, so put 117 in here, take a pal out. So we're looking at about $3.03 a day with the current pricing, which is 3.70 and 20 cents is what, what the mine is using, uh, which is about the, the market price right now. Ethereum Classic would actually be more profitable by almost 50, 55 cents a day, but with all the issues with Ethereum Classic, I was having trouble getting it deposited it into my wallets. I actually still have a few pending that have been pending for about a little over two weeks now. So until everything gets sorted out and I can actually get the deposits into my account, I'm not going to be mining Ethereum Classic. So it's just mining Ethereum three out of three cents. So let's look at my P104 rig now. P104 rig. Now these are at power limit 105 at they're all pulling about 104 to 105 watts at the wall. Um, times like a few over in the 60s. This this one is actually in an area that is a little more air restricted. I need to get a fan in there. Actually, put fans on the case. I still have yet to put the fans on the actual mining frame. Uh, it should help bring these couple temps down, but they're still not terrible. Uh, 64 is starting to get up high enough where I might see start to get worried, but right now I'm not. Uh, the basement stays pretty cool where they're at. But I'm averaging 267 mega hash a second. And this one runs at about 1040 watts uh, at the wall. But I'm getting 267 mega hash. So this one is getting roughly 687 per day on a Ethereum. So the other one I said is... 303 a day so that's 350 day between two and then this one like i said i'm not going to be mining ethereum classic unless i can get 
the money into my my wallets and the last time I checked they were all still pending so I don't want to just keep waiting and waiting waiting in case there's a big spike in the coin I want to trade it out for either something else or or cash I want to be able to do that right away I don't want to have to wait for it to pend so I'm at 687 a day for that so 990 a day is what I'm looking at roughly just from all three of my mining rigs now in all my videos I do tell you 15 cents per kilowatt hour is not what I pay uh, I pay less than that which adds up to a good amount so this number is very conservative but I'm still looking at about ten dollars a day just in straight profit but um that's after obviously the electrical bills paid and everything like that I do not cash out my cryptocurrencies to pay my electric bill I pay that through my full-time job uh, it is getting a little high I'm looking at over with everything running uh, I had the air conditioner running all winter I did get the air conditioner out of my window since I moved the mining rigs so that helped save me some money uh, I actually go like I think I went an entire week without even turning this one back on in my office so that does help with my electric bill but it's still probably over 300 uh, the mining rigs do add add a good amount I mean we can do a quick calculation of just what the, what this one mining rig would do so if I'm mining ten dollars and sixty one cents six eighty seven profit so it's saying three dollars and seventy four cents is pretty much what I'm paying in electric per day if I times that by 30 that one rigs cost me 112 but like I said that's if we put it at a more realistic number so we're still at 1058 a day we mind but now it says I'm pulling 146 a day 312 times that by 30 90 about 94 dollars a month just to run just to run my p104 rig if we did the other ones I mean there's another way you can calculate it you can take this it's running about 450 watts if we divide that by 1000 which is one kilowatt hours point 0.45 times that by 24 we're looking at that's not right 10.8 kilowatt hours a day times by 0.125 of which I pay times up by 30 I'm looking at about forty dollars and fifty cents a month to run this one it does run a lot less power it's like half the wattage that's why and then if you look at this one that one's at 460 divide that by a thousand uh, times 24 times 0.125 which I pay times 30 41 so if we add 40.4 plus 40 then it was like 90 bucks 92 bucks I think it was 92 I'm looking at three 343 just to run these rigs a month so it, it's a little bit lower than that those are rounded numbers uh, but you guys can see it's pretty expensive to run them but I do just pay that with cash out of my pocket pretty much uh, I do want to see where the coins go see if I can get up there I, I, when ethereum was up at 450 I should have sold some and then just rebought more uh, easier to say that now than when it was actually up there but at the time you know I was pretty happy I mean my, my rigs were making a good amount of money but it's only making as much money as you cash out I guess you can say but the way I look at it is cryptocurrency coins are similar to the stock market where in my opinion I don't, and a lot of people can argue this I believe that cryptocurrency prices are only going to go up over time uh, even when they're hitting their rock bottom prices if you look at any other charts like how Bitcoin was when it first came out uh, 
It's a, it's only going to keep going up gradually over time. That's just my opinion. I'm obviously not an expert. You guys can take that with a grain of salt. Uh, everyone has their own opinions of what what's going to happen. Um, so if we combine these two rigs, we can just get a really good number of what my actual workers are doing instead of just adding it up. 1075 just Ethereum per day. And that changed a little bit because this did drop a, about a dollar. So it didn't change much, but it did drop plus to like 47 cents. So yeah. Uh, so this is actually calculating it a little bit better than what I got. I got nine. Oh, well, you know what? I changed this. That's why I like to keep this at 1.5, 0.15. There have been times where I forgot to change my electrical provider and I was paying a ridiculous amount of money for my electric. I do actually have to sign in and look at different plans right now uh, over the next couple days and pick one out. Anyone that does mine cryptocurrency, especially on the East, um, I'm like in the Philadelphia, greater Philadelphia area. You do have to go into your Pico or whoever your provider is and change your electric provider. I do recommend doing that every two to three months. I do it. Uh, I'm approaching that three month mark. You should get letters in the mail if you're doing that of saying when your electric is going to go up you can usually get some new electric provider for a lot cheaper per month uh, so that's how i keep my electric costs down for the most part um, and then with cryptocurrency mining i'm so crazy about how much energy i'm consuming i test everything in my house so i do try and not run in things that i don't need to run i am looking forward to this time of year because I can shut the air conditioner off and open the windows and not run my heat either. So that's going to be nice. I mean, that's just a little update on my rigs, what they're mining. They're, they're overclocks and, uh, you know, their, their earnings as, as of right now, uh, I'm pretty happy with all three of my rigs right now. They're all running pretty solid. Uh, the P10690, I was pretty skeptical about, but once I switched it to Raven, I was happy enough that I just, ke I just keep it running. Uh, if it was, Still on uh, Bitcoin gold, losing money every day. I'd probably shut it off and sell the rig. But I did sell four of the 12 GPUs I bought for that rig just to make some money back uh, for future rigs. And also two of the cards showed up dead, so I didn't want to just put together a 10-card rig. So luckily I bought them on eBay, so the guy refunded me for the two dead cards. I still wasn't able to get them up and running. Uh, I don't know what the issue is with them. Maybe one day I'll tear them down and see if I can get them working. If I can get them working, I might just cram them onto that six six card rig and just put two more GPUs on it. Ah, uh, we'll see. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, let me know if you like videos like this. Uh, you know, let me know in your comments down below of maybe different overclocks you guys run on these these cards that you have uh different ways i can make them more profitable i know i could just turn the power up on some of them and get them a lot more profitable uh the problem is my electrical issues right now of just running extension cords to them from different areas of the house uh, i haven't had time to get anyone over to install some proper electrical so once i do that i'll probably start turning the power up on them a little bit and get them mining a little bit faster uh but you know let me see what you guys are doing with your uh with your rigs overclocks you guys are running comment down below but see you next time